In the previous video, we looked at the difference between R and R minus and how we use R minus to sweep through this arc. In this video, I want to discuss the use of I's and J's. Not every CNC machine will accept the letter R to describe the radius. So here's our part, and this is our letter R, the actual radius of the part. But on some CNC machines that don't accept the R, or when we do a full 360 degree circle in one line, we can't use the letter R. And when we can't use the letter R, we have to describe how to get from the start of the arc to the center of the arc using I's, J's, or in the case of when the arc is in the XZ or YZ plane that we're going to look at shortly, the letter K. So what are I's, J's, and K's? Well, they describe how to get from the start of the arc to the center of the arc, but using movements that are parallel to the X and Y axis. So to calculate the I and J, we're going to create a right angle triangle as we have here. And here, R is the hypotenuse, and then we have the J value and the I value. So the J value is the movement from the start of the arc down to the center, parallel to the Y axis. And we program it with the letter J. The I value is the movement from the start of the arc to the center of the arc, parallel to the x-axis, and we program it with the letter i. And to program these, they're always an incremental value. So the i, j, and k are incremental. So we need to put our Cartesian coordinates here in the start of the arc, and in this case, we can see the center of the arc is in quadrant 3. So both the j and the i will be negative. So how do I change this to an i and j? Well, I'm going to add an i. And again, I know it'll be negative, and the amount is 2 inches. And then I'm going to add a j, and it will be negative as well. And in this case, the j is 1.5 inches. Now the x and y are still the end coordinates of the arc. So this x and y will again bring it 100 thou off of the part. And if I refresh this plot, nothing will change. Now for practice, let's convert this r to an i and j. So first, I'll come out here. I'm doing a 90 degree arc sweep of 1 inch. Here's the start of the arc, and the center is over here. So in this case, there is no movement in the y-axis to get from the start of the arc to the center. It's strictly in the x-axis, and it's x plus. So this r can be replaced with an i. And I'll refresh that, and again, it's good. I'll just play the animation, and we can see both arcs work. And we've now learned how to program using i's and j's. However, if you're struggling with the I's and J's, that's one of the really nice things about NC Plot. It will convert them for you. If I come up to the Tools menu, I currently have I's and J's. I can come down and tell it to convert these, and it converts them to an R. If I don't want them an R, I can come back up again to the Tools, and I can say convert the R's to I's, J's, and K's, and they put them back. You'll notice NC Plot has added a J0. That's fine. It isn't necessary when one of the components is zero, it can be not programmed. In the next video, we're gonna deal with the fact that this distance here is inch and a quarter and we're only using an inch cutter. So how can I clean up this by programming an entire circle in one line of code using the I and J arc center coordinate?